For the last 30 days, I have stopped streaming. No Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, HBO Max, no cable television, and yes, even no YouTube. These are big parts of my life, or at least they used to be before I cut them out. But I wanted to see what I could do if I reclaimed the time that I spent watching stuff to doing literally anything else. That's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Lloyd and this is my YouTube channel where I document my personal development journey and all that I learn along the way. And for the last 30 days, I have cut out all consumption of video other than a few DVDs and I'll talk about exactly what I did in my challenge uh, in a little bit. But how many of you stream, watch videos of some sort? If you watch videos of some sort, give a thumbs up and that should be everybody watching this video because you're watching a YouTube video right now. But how many of you watch Netflix regularly or another similar platform? My wife and I, we watch them quite often. We default to the couch in the evenings, turning on Netflix, maybe perusing through, trying to see if we can find something to watch, just scrolling, 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 looking for something that looks interesting for us to watch. I have spent a lot of time searching, uh, sometimes some evenings, more times trying to find something to watch than actually watching something, which is quite embarrassing. But it shouldn't be hard to find something to watch if that's what you wanna do, because there is so much content out there. On Netflix alone, there's 36,000 hours of content. If you were to spend 16 hours a day giving yourself eight hours to sleep because sleep is important, it would take you 2,250 days, over six years to work your way through Netflix's current catalog, which they're continually updating and adding to. Then you've got all the other platforms. There is a lot of stuff to watch, to entertain us, to educate us, to amuse us and to distract us. The Nielsen Corporation found that the average American adult spends six hours a day watching video content, be it from live cable television, recorded cable television, on-demand stuff, Netflix, other streaming services, and YouTube. Six hours a day. That's what the average American is spending. If this same average person is working a 40 hour work week, they're spending more time watching video, 42 hours, than they do spend at their job. Yet, you probably know that a lot of times when people are watching video, they are multitasking. I have definitely put on a video in the background while doing chores, maybe passively watching a, a YouTube video while trying to get some work done. So these aren't six solid hours just watching things alone. As someone who makes YouTube videos and enjoys watching YouTube videos and other things, I'm not opposed to this. But how many of you have ever said there aren't enough hours in the day? Or have said, you know, there isn't enough time to blank. Start a new hobby, uh, read more books, cook recipes, learn a language. Voulez-vous Netflix and chill avec moi, ce soir? Or hang out with friends and family. I know that I have done this. And that's one of the big reasons why I wanted to stop streaming, to reclaim some of my time. So for the past 30 days, I cut it all out. No live television, which I didn't do much at all to begin with none of the streaming services. We have Netflix, Amazon Prime, HBO Max, Disney Plus, cut all of those out. And then didn't even watch YouTube videos. Yes, no YouTube videos, because there is so much to watch on YouTube and I definitely get sucked into that, that rabbit hole of just watching one video and then the next suggested video, suggested video, suggested video. So I had to cut it out. And I also asked you guys in a poll if I needed to count YouTube and there was a resounding yes, I needed to count YouTube. So I cut it all out. 
but I did watch a few online courses over the past month, as long as I was going to stick with them, and then a few Harry Potter DVDs with my wife in the evenings. But I gained a lot of time back. If I am to assume that I am the average American, which most of the time I like to think of myself as above average, but for the sake of this, we'll say that I'm the average American. So if I was watching six hours a day over the past 30 days, I reclaimed 180 hours, which is just over 11 full waking days if I've got 16 hours awake and eight hours being asleep. So 11 days of my life that I reclaimed if I was to say that I was focusing 100% of those six hours previously on watching stuff. So what did I do instead? Well, a whole lot. For the first half of the month, I was walking 20,000 steps a day, doubling the quote unquote recommended 10,000 steps a day. And, but eventually I got a little tired of it because I'm a somewhat slow walker and doing all that walking was eating into some of the other stuff that I wanted to do, like reading books. I read seven books over the past month and listened to six audiobooks, mostly while doing all of that walking. I watched a 23 hour course on Adobe Lightroom. I built a brand new website that's gonna be part of a, a side project that I'm, I'm working on. I got really into macro photography over the past month, which I'm enjoying and might even make a second YouTube channel all about that. I've been trying new recipes. I've been doing a whole lot more yoga, more meditating, hitting the gym more, going outside, enjoying picnics, and just sitting alone with my thoughts. I have done a lot and it's been a very, very productive month, a very fulfilling month. And to be honest, I didn't miss streaming that much. There were a few occasions where uh, I didn't feel well in the evening, and, you know, I was really tired, maybe coming down with something, and all I wanted to do was just turn on the television and passively watch something. I didn't want to put in the effort to, to reading or trying to be productive, but I couldn't do it, so I just laid there with my own thoughts. Overall, it was a very good experiment. Am I going to throw out my television? No, I'm going to, to keep my television and continue to stream stuff, but I'm definitely gonna put some guardrails on my streaming. Limiting myself to an hour a day during the, the week and maybe two, two and a half hours on the weekend to allow for a movie, if I so choose. Could you stop streaming? If you were to stop streaming, what would you fill your time with? What's that thing that you've been saying that you don't have enough time to do? You know, maybe you don't watch a bunch of stuff online like I do in The Average American, and that's great, more power to you. Let me know about what you do instead. And if you really enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Also, I can recommend these videos for you as well, which YouTube thinks you'll like. See you later. For the voice. This is this movie, film, video, starting off strong.